Okay, salamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again everyone. Um, today we will be discussing about rationalization. Okay, rationalization is a method or a way of eliminating our um, denom- uh, radical, yeah, a denominator with a radical. Yeah. Okay, it's basically like this one. Um, say our answer is this. Um, square root of 5 over square root of 2. Yeah. Say our answer is this one. This one is uh, technically not allowed. So that's why rationalization comes, that is where rationalization comes in. Wherein in the denominator, it's not allowed for us to have any um, radicals. Okay? Any radicals. So that's why we will try to rationalize the given. And this is this method. Okay? How do we rationalize? We rationalize by just simply multiplying the given Okay, multiplying the given to 1. Multiply natin siya sa 1. And we will try to identify ano, what are the different e- equivalents of 1. Okay? Which would be useful in this given to eliminate the um, the square square root, I mean. So, the equivalent of 1 is square root of 2 over square root of 2. This is still 1. And this will not affect the given in any case. Kasi multiplying 1 to any number would equals to itself. Right? But in this case, it would have an, an, an effect on the denominator, but not on the final result. It would still be the same. Okay? So, square root of 2. Let's take a look at this, uh, at this given. When you are multiplying the de- fractions, denominator to denominator only. Okay? So, let's, uh, let's take a look at this given, square root of 2 times square root of 2. Okay? If we will try to multiply this one, diba what we do when we we'll multiply radicals is we copy the radical sign and we multiply the numbers inside. Okay, so this would be 4. And the square root of 4 is 2. Or what basically happens here is the radicals is cancelled out. Okay, and what would remain is the num- is the same um, same radicand or the base. So this would be 2. So in this case, what would happen is this. The radical, the radical sign would be removed. And what would be left is the 2. And 5 times 2 is of course square root of 10. So, at least the denominator is not a radical a radical term anymore. Only the numerator. And that would be allowed. Numerator, good. Denominator, not. That's why we have rationalization. Okay? Now let's have another example. So, how do we actually rationalize? We rationalize by just simply multiplying the entire given with the denominator which is square root of 5. And this one, still square root of 5. Okay? And in this case, sabi ko nga, the radical sign would be eliminated. And what would be left would be the base. Yung common base sila or the common radicand. Which is of course 5. Okay? And of course, just like uh, multiplication, we cons- uh, also in addition, we consider the radical as a variable. So if you have 7 times x, it would be 7x. Same goes here. 7 square root of Okay? That would be one. Another one example. Let's have another one. Say we have the square root of 7 over 18. Now, in this case, it's not um, obvious immediately whether you have a denominator, uh, a radical denominator. Bakit? Kasi you would notice na isa lang yung radical natin and um, the number inside is a fraction. But then again, please do... Uh, remind yourself that if you have a radical, it works just like a rational fraction. Meaning, ibibigay mo siya, you will give it to the numerator and denominator. Just like as having, say, 3 halves squared. I will give it to 3 and I will give it to 2. Okay? The same goes when you have the radical. Give it to both of them. You can actually separate them. And this would actually be equal to square root of 7 over square root of 18. And then I did told you guys that it's not allowed, right? Hindi okay na magkaroon ng radical. Okay? It's not okay to have a radical in the denominator. So therefore, you multiply this one by the ra- by the denominator. Both numerator and denominator. And next, what we need to do is we just simply need for the new denominator to just simply remove and keep the base only. So may 18. And then on the numerator, try to evaluate as much as you can. And in this case, same radical sign, multiply the numbers inside. 7 times 18 
is just simply 126. Square root of 126. Okay? And in this square root of 126, okay, trying to simplify this one would be beneficial for you guys as well. 126 is actually divisible by 9. Um, yeah, it's divisible by 9. So I will have the square root of um, 9 times 14 over 18. Okay? And eliminating this 9, kasi square root naman siya, labas nyo siya. So it would be 3, square root of 14. And it will leave us with this one. Simplifying further, in this case, okay? In this case, 3 and 18 will give you, this is 6. So square root of 14 over 6. Okay? Square root of 14 over 6. And this would be yung answer natin for that given. Okay? And uh, what else? Say I have this given now. Square root of uh, a cube root of seven over two. A uh, square root of two. Rationalize, right? When you rationalize, multiply by the denominator only. And on the denominator, it's quite easy. Alisin yun lang si radicand. Just remove the radicand and leave the base or the radicand in uh, as the denominator. And then of course, multiply this one as is. And how do we multiply this one? Remember yung lesson natin, multiplying radicals. Okay? Different index and different bases or radicand. What do we do? Multiply the ra the ano, the index. 3 times 2 is 6. This would be your new radicand. Write 7 and 2 inside. What do we do? 6 divided by the new radicand, I index divided by the old index. That would be the new exponent of 7. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So therefore, we have 2 here. And then we have 6 divided by... I mean 6 divided by 3. Yeah. 6 divided by 2, we have 3. Therefore, that would be 2 cubed. And finally, it will give you 7 squared times 2 cubed. It will give us 3... Yeah, it's 392. Okay? 392. So, this is the 6th root of 392 over 2. That's it. Okay? That's how you rationalize. Just very important lang po yung baba. We just simply need to make the denominator as a non-radical. Okay? As a non-radical. So, we, we, we need to make it as either a fraction or whole, a whole number. Okay? And not a radical. Okay? And we have this final example. What if your denominator is like this? Final type, I would say. Say I have the... Let's make the, the, the numerator easy. 4 over 5 plus square root of 3. Yeah. So how do we rationalize this kind of given? We rationalize this kind of given by just simply still multiplying the, num uh, the given by our denominator but it's not just the denominator we call this one as the conjugate you will notice that the sign of the radical term is con uh, is reversed so if this is plus square root of 3 this is negative or minus square root of 3 this is the conjugate ito yung tinatawag natin na conjugate conjugate okay we multiply it by the conjugate okay having the conjugate will give us this kind of um answer. Remember po x plus y and x minus y. The answer would be x squared minus y squared. Okay, because they are of different signs. So in this case, we will apply this sum and difference of two terms. Okay, uh, that was our dog. I'm sorry about that. So in any case, um, again, the conjugate would be like this one. We apply the sum and difference of two terms. Okay, sum and difference of two terms what would happen? Okay, what would happen would be just simply square the first term minus square the second term. So we will have on the denominator square the first term minus square of the second term. What happens if you have the radical square root and square? It would be cancelled out. Okay? So it will leave us with this is 25 and this would be minus 3 25 minus 3 okay and on the numerator just leave it as is 4 times 5 minus square root of 3 okay 
and 4 time, times 5 minus square root of 3 distributive 20 minus 4 square root of 3 all over 25 minus 3 the answer is 22 okay, 22 or maybe it's, it's best we don't multiply yet let's leave it as is so let's leave it as 4 times 5 minus square root of 3 all over 22 divide divide this will give you 2 yeah this will give you 2 and this will give you 11 and now we distribute the 2 10 minus 2 square root of 3 over 11 okay and this would again the conjugate is easy to get okay because you can just simply multiply it with any uh, with the reverse operation of the radical term but the difficult part would be evaluating if you're poor when it comes to evaluating fractions and uh, order of operation then that would be uh, kind of sad to hear just simply review your other topics na lang. okay so next let's have uh, another given being square root of 5 over square root of 6 plus square root of 3 okay so what do we do here Again, we multiply the given with the conjugate. So, we get the conjugate of either of the two. Remember, in this case, may dalawa tayong radicals. We have two radical terms, right? Two radical terms. So, we can either get the conjugate or the reverse operation of either of this. So, we can multiply this by negative square root of 6 plus square root of 3. This, okay? Or we can just simply multiply this by the other conjugate niya, isang conjugate niya. Wait lang, sorry. Square root of 6 minus square root of 3. It would give you the same answer, it's okay. Okay. Long as again, the conjugate, remember, the conjugate will ask you to get the reverse operation. Conjugate. Reverse operation 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 of the radical term and the radical term is just simply the term with the radical sign and in this case dalawa kasi okay so let's try to proceed now let me just uh, bakura ko lang onti yan okay and yan so let's try to multiply the denominator will ask you to square the first minus square of the second yeah. or this would be cancelled out quite easy right 6 minus 3 and on the numerator it would simply give you square root of 5 times square root of 6 minus square root of 3 okay, so let's bring it down here sulat ko na lang. this is square root of 5 times square root of 6 minus square root of 3 okay and it will give you the 6 minus 3 is 3 yeah and then just simply again perform multiplication of radicals pag nagmo multiply ng mga radicals na parehas ng index multiply the numbers inside 5 times 6 is square root of 30 minus 5 times 3 is square root of 15 over 3 and trying to simplify this one if you could then go ahead and i see that hindi na pwede therefore we leave it as is okay and this would be the final answer. This is rationalization, okay? So let's have an, uh, our last example. Let me just create another layer for our, okay, good. So let's say we have um, yeah, 10 over the cube root of 25. Now, on this case, how do we um, conjugate this kinds of given? Uh, how do we rationalize this kinds of given? Um, our aim actually here is, let me change the 25. Maybe let's uh, have cube root of 2. Yeah, yeah. So our aim when it comes to this kinds of given is try to um, eliminate the cube by just simply making it as um, 3 over 3. Like this one, for example. If I have 3 raised to 1 third, I want to multiply this by 3 raised to 2 thirds. Bakit? Kasi, the answer would be 3 raised to 3 over 3. I want the radical in the fractional form to be 3 over 3. Okay? Kasi this is multiplication, right? 
So, this is still multiplication. So, sa kaya natin siya multiply. So, let's try to look for that specific number. Okay? For me to get the, rational, the rationalized form of this given, what I need to do is follow this. Okay? Say I have um, yan, x raised to n. Yeah. Maybe I have this x raised to n. So, I will multiply this by x raised to n um, we're in sige, let's say this is an n plus 1 yeah. this would be x raised to n minus 1 yeah, is this, is this, can we work with this? wait lang, I'm trying to create a, a formula um, if we add this no, 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 this would be an, maybe let's have ano, 1 yan yeah. Uh, negative, no, no, no. Let's make this as n minus 1. Yeah. And this is x raised to 1. Same, 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 I guess. This would be x raised to n minus 1 over n. Um, times x raised to 1 over n. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This would be um, x raised to n minus 1 plus 1 over n. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. This would be cancelled out. So you will have n over n. Ayan. So, we have this one. So, ganda dapat yung magiging structure natin. Ang, magi ang aim natin dito is ma-cancel uh, yung radical. Okay? So, in this case, let me just erase this one. I actually think I made it harder to look at. But, let me just undo this one. And to make it simpler, guys, to make it simpler, um, you will just simply need to multiply your given by the same root, which is of course cube root, by the same root, cube root, but just simply copy the base and raise it to 2. Okay? Copy the base and raise it to 2. Why? Because you will have 1 here. 1 plus 2. 1 plus 2, the answer is cube. Is 3. Okay? That's the point. So, we will have 10. Cube root of 2 squared is 4. Okay na yan. But in this case, eliminate, you will have and this would be your final answer. Quite easy, right? Let's have our final given. Say I have 2 over the cube root of... Um, and yeah, x. Yan. Or maybe x squared. Yan. Okay? So, you will multiply this by the same root. Same base as well. Pero kung ilan yung kulang para mabuo si 3. So, we have already 2. Ilan yung kulang para mabuo si 3? We need 1. So, x raised to 1. Ah, easy, right? So, we will have simply 2 cube root of x. Okay na yan. Kasi it cannot be simplified any further. And cancel na yan. Long as na buo mo, then it's okay. So, you will have simply x. And this would be the final answer. And this would be rationalization of numbers with, um, with what do you call this? Higher uh, index. With an index higher than um, 2. Okay? And let's have um, another example with this one. Para ano, medyo kompleto ang ating given. Even though we are taking too long. Okay? So, we have cube root of 3 um, plus the cube root of 2. Again, the same rules. We will try to rationalize this one. Okay? And how will we rationalize this one? Um, maybe we will fall with the, what they call this, the sum or difference of um, two, two, uh, 2 cubes, yeah, yeah, this is 2 cubes, so we will express that in this form, a cube plus b, uh, wait, sorry, um, I guess it's a squared, yeah, plus b squared, no, 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 no. And in any case, let's just uh, let's just try to look for it. Um, this this given. Maybe I will try to multiply this one with this structure, po. Okay. Um, this structure. A plus B is equal to A squared plus AB. Up, oh, sorry, it's minus AB. Minus AB plus B squared. Yeah, let's have this one. This would be your A and B. A and B. Okay? So, we will have, or kapag ka magkaiba ng sign, this one. Yeah. A squared plus AB 
plus b squared. Okay? So, let's try to multiply. Ang sagot kasi dito is a cubed plus b cubed. And in this case, a cubed minus b cubed. Okay? Ayan yung sagot yan. So, let's multiply this one with this structure. a squared, ito yan, plus kasi. So, we will have cube root of 3 squared minus cube root of 3 times cube root of 2, yan, plus, plus, um, cube root of 2 squared. Yan. Same structure yan, ha? May square, ito, minus square. Ito yan. Square minus square. And that would be, should be the same. Sa taas and sa baba. Okay? So, we'll have this one. Minus. Um, the cube root of, yan, the same, yan, 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 plus, yan, squared, okay? The answer here for the denominator would be quite easy. Aalisin nyo na lang yan, okay? If we will have 3 plus 2, the answer is 5. Wow, that would be, yan, okay na agad, yung baba. But the numerator would be different, kasi bakit? You will notice here, let's try to, can I zoom this out a little bit? Wait lang ah. We try to zoom out. Ayan. Wow, that's a little bit zoomed out. Pero in any case, yan. Okay? Let's try to evaluate this one. Itong taas. Okay? Evaluating, evaluating this one. Ito muna. Okay? Simplify natin. And also this one, I guess. Ayan. Para this one. Let's try to simplify this one. This one would be equal to same index. Multiply the numbers inside. So, this would be cube root of 6. Yan. And then we distribute 5. Distributing 5 will give us distributing 5 will give us 5 times yan, cube root of 3 squared minus um, this is cube root of 6 plus um, cube root of 2 squared. All over di ba may 5 tayo dyan sa baba. Yan. Let's let's move this here, okay? All over 5. Cancel the 5 kasi it's multiplication. It's allowed, okay? So, this would give you, um, yan. Cube root of 3 squared, kasi pwede naman siya ipasok, minus cube root of 6, plus cube root of 2 squared. And finally, simplifying the given, it will give us the cube root of 9, minus the cube root of 6, plus the cube root of um, 4. Okay? And this would be our final answer. Complicated, yes. But a different kasi, the thing about this one is there's a different um, kind of topic that is included that you should know. Ito yan. yan. Okay? But in any case, I hope you will not encounter this one anytime soon. If you'd have any questions regarding our topic, kasi that would be it. Just kindly view the video again. Try to understand. And if you don't have, uh, if you have any other questions na hindi masasagutan in our video, ask me in our class. That would be all. Thank you everyone and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.